Welcome back guys, this is XL Enterprise and in today's video I will show you how to create an animated input. As you can see over here, I can type in anything I want, just anything. So let's go back to our code and now over here you can see I created um, an ID inside a div and I created my input type text. As soon as you have JavaScript, we are going to write let box equals to document dot dot query selector then we are going to put brackets then inside brackets we write div yeah so now that's for the first part now let's move over to the second part by writing input equals to document dot query selector and this time we're going to write as our inside man to be text Input, I mean, sorry. Yeah, we're going to write input. And so now, the next thing we're going to write is input dot add event listener. Now, event listener is for us to listen for things when we tap on it. So we're saying add event listener, open brackets, and then we write inside the event listener input. And we put comma, then we'll put some symbols. You see, I put my bracket. But let me write this well so you can be able to see it. Yeah, let me, yeah, exactly. So you see this arrow function here. Then we go over here and write. Then we go over here and write um, the, the symbols I was telling you about. Yeah, the write box dot style. We are going to write dot the border radius now let's see what this border radius can do now let's set it to be equals to be input dot value now this input dot value you are seeing here we'll explain it later then write box dot style in the second line dot we're going to write the background and we're going to set the background to be sent as input dot value meaning whatever thing we input the value is what this box dot style dot background would do and so now we put our same column and we save this so we go back to index the css i put bet here because that's what i named the id if you look back at the video and so now we write the height to be we're going to make the height to be um how many pixels 200 pixels and after that we make the width to be let's see um how many pixels okay let's still make it 200 pixels and so now, the next thing we're going to write is the border. Let's make the border to be big. We're going to say one pixel solid. Then we'll add a color, purple. And no, 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 let's make it white. Yeah, we make it to be white. And so the next thing we're going to add is the transition. Let's say this is going to be moving. So we'll write all 0 0.4 seconds is to make it easy and smooth and so now we save this and let's add some space in that height over there so you can see it clearly let's change this color to something else we're going to say um hash 33 okay so over here as you can see how this thing looks if i write in red you see change purple it changes color and if i write black it changes color and write 50 pixels you see it has curved so this is how to make uh, an animated input see you guys in the next class bye